All right, so welcome back to our next installment of the ongoing Office 365 uh, course. Uh, in the last video, we installed Office 365 for a user, and we verified that it was installed and the user was logged into to different uh, uh, applications. In this video, we want to go and see if the email is working. If you remember our logins all already look like email addresses so we want to make sure that if the email is working or not if not are we supposed to enable or set up some things so let's see so one very interesting thing before we think it says zero of two licensed users have installed offices why we know that we installed it so Ali did not help your user install offices. So something is off. We know that uh, active users, <coughs> and you see all of these fours are, so somehow it's not being um, copied over on the main, main screen. What's going on? It's still the same. Office 365 software. Maybe they have to come here and install it. Uh, they have to follow this link, something, but it did not show. Uh, um, like the other user that I have so now uh, the other users that I provided access I license them uh, something is up I will um, check but if we see it says directory sync good but now it's saying password sync as well and since everything is running Let's go and check our active users. We did install it for Aslan H. Um, where is it? Aslan is right here. Let's log in. We saw access is there, Excel. We ran OneDrive. Enter your email address. So let's say aslan h at ihme.org sign in next so it's just a quick uh, overview but it's not very helpful it's just the basic basic stuff <coughs> so you get two one uh, uh, OneDrive Charter and OneDrive the local one that comes with Windows 10 so this one is different this one is if you see Charter and it's saying Charter because that's what I put the name in but that's the one if we see, can go to the properties there's nothing right there so right now they look exactly the same so let's go close it out right here we already installed office no recent folder go to OneDrive let's try so this is online portal we can do everything online oh okay I got it so basically I think is yes, that since we were unable to like this user was unable to install it for himself and he had to have the admin install it for himself maybe that's what happened we can try signing out and then sign back in
so we are getting farther and farther away from email thing right let's go to portal as lan h line n yes new rainbow themes so we're gonna use the when on the eastern time zone that should fall somewhere around right here we saved it for the outlook so oh okay good so we are in outlook if we see this is welcome now it's gonna give us the tour here so it's a islan h at ihami.org right so this is my inbox very much uh, look like like a normal outlook I'm gonna go with these oh they both had it let's go with this one there's a quick way you can sign in and uh, how to check uh, email the one way is you sign into it if it works you get to your inbox like uh, here we did you can see the inbox has nothing in it it means we're good the other way is that you send an email to that address if it works good uh, if it get, you get an error message in your inbox where you sent it from then it means that that inbox is not working for example if I send an email to this address it's unlicensed there is there is a good chance that it will not work it will simply bounce back to check that I can actually yeah actually from this account I'm gonna pause the video here so I'm gonna forward this email to aslanh at ihamid.org and then I'm gonna forward it to obama at ihamid.org and see what happens no send it should give me an error here like one should be deliverable the other one will error out so if I go here and to my Windows 10 it might take a moment for it to come through right there so my email came trial and error self-paced learning sent you this email and that's the email that I sent them from indeed now let's go to here and you see it says 2519 basically what happened is that I got a your message to could not be delivered Obama was not found at this so there's a fix if you want to read it so see this is was to tell you how to get the email working so email setup is very simple you don't have to go and do anything you don't have to um, set up a server since it's exchange and exchange is used for Microsoft server, uh, email server whoever you give access to office 365 uh, a license they will have the access automatically uh, to the email address they will not have access automatically only if while licensing you go and off the exchange for them because maybe they are using the email with another provider or they don't want to use this address they do they are a VIP person they don't want to deal with five email addresses they say hey I have this email address I'm gonna use just this everywhere I don't want this separate one or the domain one whatever so this one was like how to but there is another uh, thing that we should look into and that is exchange right here the thing that Microsoft uses to email for email purposes so you see it says exchange online and there's a bunch of stuff that we're gonna cover but right now we're gonna go with the mailboxes or recipients so we click on recipients and we see these are the persons that have access or active uh, email um, and like uh, our exchange server online is managing these email addresses or their IMs uh, if you remember the last video we ran the uh, Skype so that is also being um, uh, handled by this one 
so if you see it says user let's go click on aslan so this is all the information like normal and you see it's enabled unified messaging mobile devices everything they sync and we can convert to shared mailboxes we're gonna go with that uh, in a later video so there's some more detail by clicking on the edit so you see it's the name ID what's there it's exactly uh, or it resembles so much with the Active Directory there must be more options so let's custom attributes if you want to add something mailbox usage you want to see when when did they last login about that time is right how much they are using they have one email that we sent contact information uh, it's just like um, so this is like all the information that we uh, can fill up uh, during creating the user we can do it here over here if we did or if we had in the past it would be copied over here for like just like for Ali everything is in here if we go to Ali's so organization will be here like what is the title what is the department they work in the company if there are more than one company and manager like who's their manager you can browse to their profile and you can write down who they directly report to so exactly like Active Directory so next one is email addresses so these are different types of uh, email protocol like this one is simple mail transfer protocol so whatever is highlighted that's being used for like if there's a duplication so it's their server is using this one so with the uh, outlook lines the uh, latest one um, in the old days you had to put one in like you had to know you had to call up your IESP or the email provider ask them what's the uh, outgoing mail server is what's the ingoing incoming mail server is and what's the ports number and all that but now all you have to do is just enter the email address enter the password the client in, in our case it will be a window uh, outlook microsoft uh, automatically queries the web ser email server and fills in the uh, uh, what type of email server so but if you have to peek it's right here so mailbox features what are the features of those uh, uh, <coughs> uh, of that mailboxes we see the policies like what they're sharing everything is default we will go into these one in the next video uh, like where we can check the what's the default policy uh, what's included what's not included but down here like address book policy nothing uh, some email server like you can put 250 500 or thousand so it's the policy for example a popular uh, uh, IM client uh, whatsapp I think the maximum you can add is uh, 200 or 500 I'm not sure but there is a limit that's why there is a business version as well like if you are a business user and you don't have a set number of friends and family then you can use that because everybody is messaging you so these are the connectivity IMAP internet mail access pro protocol uh, P uh, post office protocol and all thing you can disable them or if or if they are any um, already disabled then you can enable them but they in the upper case they are enabled so you see all them archiving is disabled archiving is when you don't want your users to completely remove the email like there is always a backup somewhere um, that even they delete it from their uh, inbox it's still archived so something like that mail flow delivery option message size restriction like what the maximum size you can see so I think about 35 megabits I would say so and 
like is there a restriction for delivery like uh, you don't s s uh, you want uh, certain messages do you do not want them to be delivered uh, this is for spam but there is a separate thing in the spam but this is like if you uh, this one is requesting so and this one is that all senders are authenticated this one is member of we see it's a group of charter we're gonna talk about it in the next video mail tip is mail tip that uh, you see it gets automatically uh, it's kind of uh, like back in the uh, day outlook had a feature that uh, it will send a delivery confirmation if you had enabled it so as your sender it was if both the sender and receiver are using uh, uh, the outlook and they had enabled it so what will happen is that the sender will receive its notification an automated one that your email was delivered or your email was seen or all that so mailbox mailbox delegation this one is that send as you want somebody to have access to your mailbox and manage it for you send on behalf same thing or full access so you can give them accesses based on what you want to do so full access is like somebody is opening it just like you would send on behalf is that right so for example you're stemming out of the office for a month or you're going on vacation for a very long period uh, fmla or anything then somebody is managing your mailbox so it will say that somebody else is be uh, uh, replying on behalf of this guy person and send as so send as and full access are almost identical but this one you get the full control of the mailbox all right so i want to quickly show you about the le we can also double click on the name it will show this but if you see uh, contact information uh, we put the United States there more option we did put the HQ if you remember so whatever you put in it populates and shows up here all right so this was it for the email you see there is nothing to be done as soon as you uh, give a user license they have their email inbox so if we go back to users so right now these like you see these are just the login names if we try to go and log in with these names and enter the password we will not be uh, we will not see an inbox let's try that we already sent an email to Obama it never happened let's go and uh, log into an email address uh, since I'm already logged in I'm gonna use the private window let's go to Outlook <coughs> or we can go to office.com excuse me um, <coughs> so it's Obama at, uh, Obama at iami.org we give the password that should be stay signed in so it lets us log in this is your office 360 home page where you can see and access all of your thing blah 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 but you see I have no access to anything because I have not been granted any uh, license if I had gr granted only exchange I could go to Outlook so in that case let's go to outlook.com sign in So I can actually um, Microsoft is uh, kind enough to give you an inbox 
something went wrong okay so you don't have access because your administrator did not give you so you see so this is our email works in office 365 if you have any question please leave a comment if this video helped you please like share comment, and subscribe thank you and good night